and then the prelims would be good. And then even the, like the fight night pass stuff is amazing. And just like, oh my god, everyone who's anyone wants to be on that McGregor card and stack from top to bottom. P fights you care about aren't even in the the last five. Now they like they put two on the top, and you're like, oh yeah, it's gonna be another one. And then the third fight, like, I read about this every day, and I don't know that guy's name. Yeah, and that's. We'll see. That's how they get. That. Maybe they'll, maybe somebody will prove themselves. I know that happened maybe uh, a couple cards ago, and yet still like the whole card was like KOs. Like like maybe the Till card or something like that. Like everybody got knocked the fuck out that night. And it was a, it was a fun it was a fun five fight. Sure. Yeah. It is. I can tell you whether I'll care about the fight beforehand, but it is really difficult to predict if the card will be fun to watch or not. You yeah. Know, it, you get two guys who always bang, never fail to deliver, and then they just wrestle, wrestle, wrestle. You know, Koscheck versus GSP, matching of the greatest wrestlers in UFC history. They just sit there and ineffectively jab for five rounds. <laughs> it's, yeah. it happens. So, anyway. Yeah. Oh, I have a boat update. Remember I bought this boat for paramotoring? It not, like, the timeshare boat. Yeah. Yes, yes, the timeshare boat. It's super fast for people to know. Boats are expensive to own. I'm one of 17 people splitting the costs on this thing. And the idea is I tow myself up on the paraglider over lake and then learn new things in the safety of the water landing. So uh, so that's the thought. Today, two or three guys took our boat out um, just because the weather was good and they live nearby and, and like all is well. For a beat, I was like jealous I wasn't there. But you know what? It's a shakedown run. Knock yourself out. I don't have to be on every trip. It's ruined. All fucking ready. The whole engine is trapped. We need a new engine for our boat. I don't know how many thousands this is, but I'm grateful that it's split 17 ways. <laughs> <laughs> they show me pictures. There's like uh, black oil drippings from under it. Uh, apparently the seller lied to us because there was more work done to it than he let on. I, I don't know. Um, but like, I'm just like... Get it moved. Like, it's sitting at a marina with a mechanic right now. Tell that mechanic to do what it takes to make the boat good because I want to I wanna make some bad decisions this summer. Yeah. So. Uh, well, at least you're sharing the grief with, you know, a dozen and a half other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some guys in the group can pay. Like, let's say it costs four grand. Some guys can pay a 17th of that, and, it, and it's cool. Other people, I think, are kind of scratching. There were guys who were like. Really? Yeah, if the buy-in to this is fifteen hundred, I'm okay. If the buy-in is seventeen hundred, I'm out. And I'm like, I take that to mean. Then man. you shouldn't be in. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can't afford the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe boat ownership isn't right for you. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, like, I'm, I'm. O I hope it's not down too long. I'm halfway cracking up over here about it. But I owe one seventeenth of a new <coughs> engine, so that's a thing. <laughs> Bust out another thousand. Is uh, thankfully it's only bust out one seventeenth of a thousand, which is incalculable. Yeah, <laughs> that is incalculable. <laughs> you can't know. That's like asking how old is someone from '96 to 2019. You don't know. Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. All the numbers reset in 2000 to Y2K, so it's it's a grab bag. You know <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, so anyway, here's, here's my my picks real quick for anybody out there. If you're making a bracket. And you want to know who not to pick, because I'm notoriously bad at these. Mm. First round, I've got Calgary over Colorado. Uh, Vegas over San Jose. Nashville over Dallas. St. Louis over Winnipeg. Uh, Tampa over Columbus. Boston over Toronto. Washington over Carolina. Pittsburgh over the Islanders. And in round two, I've got Calgary over the Knights. St. Louis over Nashville. Tampa over Boston and Pittsburgh over Washington. And then conference finals, I've got St. Louis over Calgary, Tampa over Pittsburgh, and then Stanley Cup final, I got the Blues over Tampa. So <laughs> this is, oh, yeah? This is, a, this is not – this is an obvious, honest bracket. Not a, <laughs> not a homer bracket whatsoever. Taylor picked the Canes to get knocked out in the first round. I am choosing the Blues to forfeit and the Flyers to take their spot in the first round. Well, so. the Enterprise Center collapses, and both Winnipeg and St. Louis are eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the Flyers volunteer, and for some reason, yeah, no, no, the no. league agrees. It's so funny. It's like, well, by the Air Bud rules of the NHL, <laughs> the Flyers get in now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, so, oh, you, so, guys, you guys got to get on there and, and start doing yeah, it. Yeah, so we're going to do a, a bracket here, I guess. Uh, so, Taylor, you had to create an account on this website first? Yeah, I just made an account. Just a bogus email account. Maybe we should just... I think I didn't do it. Oh, the show's... Oh, I didn't want them to send stuff to me on the real one. And I... Or I guess I just used one of my whatever the fuck. I'll, I'll make it later. Got it on my screen. So, call it a wrap. Right. Is that, is that PKN? Yeah. yeah. PKN 242. Probably. Ha, 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 ha. 